Hey there, students. Um, on this clip, we're going to be going over some examples on how to eliminate the parameters from a parametric equation. And these are resulting um, equation to generate the graph of, of, um, of the function. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down the instructions for the example. Uh, example, well, this, this, this instruction applies to all the examples. So basically, we're going to um, eliminate, eliminate the parameter, the parameter, parameter R from the parametric, from the given parametric equation, the given parametric, metric equations. and sketch the graph, sketch the graph of the resulting function, of the resulting function, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the first example, number one. Um, we have the parametric equation. Um, x equals 3 cosine t and uh, y equals 3 sine t, okay? So if you take a look at this two parametric equations that we have, we notice that we have cosine and sine in them. So we need to think back for trig identities and ask ourselves the question, what trig identity relates um, sine and cosine? A simple one that relates sine and cosine. Uh, if you think about it, we can think about the identity. We're going to use the Pythagorean identity here. That will be the most effective one. Uh, we have the identity sine, where uh, t plus cosine squared t equals 1. Okay? So the goal here is if I can get sine and if I can get sine and cosine isolated, then I can basically substitute them uh, into this uh, equation, and then that will give me uh, that will enable me to eliminate eliminate uh, t. Okay. So all we need to do is isolate sine and cosine, and then whatever values we have, we can square them and plug them in here. Okay. So let's look at the x cosine t first. We want to isolate cosine. So then we can plug the value into the cosine spot, and then I say sine here and plug the value into the sine spot. So let's start with the cosine piece. For the cosine piece, we have x equals 3 cosine t. So to get cosine by itself here, so we can do a substitution, we divide both sides by 3. So we have uh, cosine t equals x over 3. All right. How about sine? Same story. Uh, we have y equals 3 sine t. We need to isolate sine so we can make a substitution. So we divide both sides by 3. So we have uh, sine t equals y over 3. Okay? So since we know that uh, <clears throat> since we know that sine squared t plus cosine squared t equals 1, we're going to substitute these values for sine and cosine. And that will eliminate the parameter t and give us something we can graph. Okay, so for sine, instead of sine squared t, I'm going to put y over 3 quantity squared plus, instead of cosine, I'll put the substituted with x over 3 quantity squared equals 1. Okay, if we simplify this equation further, <coughs> about that, we'll have y squared over 9 plus x over 9 equals 1. Okay? And then we can multiply both sides of the equation by 9. So let me the denominator multiply by 9 and multiply by 9 here. Uh, and that will give us the uh, conic system of the equation y squared plus x squared equals 9. All right? And if we want to write it in vertex form for conics, we can write it as x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 3 squared, OK? 
okay? So this is an equation of a circle uh, with center centered at the origin zero zero and with radius uh, radius of three. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this uh, resulting uh, equation with the parameter taken care of to generate the graph of our of our function. Okay, so this is the equation without the parameter in it. So if you design for this, it will it will the same. Uh, so let's get the graph. Take our coordinate system. Uh, my y coordinate and my x coordinate. Okay, uh, let me label this x and y. All right, so we're going to do our circle of radius 3. Starting from the center, we go uh, to the all directions, and there you have the equation. Okay, so the parametric equation for this circle that we drew, uh, the parametric equation for this circle that we drew is um, uh, x equals 3 cosine t and y equals 3 sine t. All right, but it's the Koenig equation in vertex form, this equation is basically the same thing as uh, x squared plus y squared equals 9. Okay, but we can clearly see that this formulation right here with the parameter eliminated is much easier uh, to graph as opposed to this. It's a little bit more complicated. All right, so um, there, there you have it. Parametric equation is your triangle equation. Okay, let's take a look at uh, another example. So for uh, example two, for example two, we're going to have uh, example two. What if we had the parametric equation y equals five uh, minus five minus uh, two sine t and equals three minus uh, two cosine t. Okay. All right. Now, all right. Let's go ahead and do it. Let me just make a slight adjustment to the problem. Just change the sign to a plus and a plus. Okay. So for this one, what we're going to do is try and eliminate the parameter t first, so that we can generate the, the equa an equation. Um, without the parameters so that's easier to graph, okay? So <laughs> this equation has a sine and a cosine. So the trig function I'm going to use is the same as the previous, the Pythagorean identity, sine squared t <laughs> plus cosine squared t equals one. That's the relationship I'm going to use. So I need to isolate sine and cosine and then plug in your respective um, values into this equation to eliminate the parameters, okay? So uh, to do that, we're going to have, um, let's start with the y. We have y equals 5 plus 2 times t. So let's subtract 5 from both sides. And have y minus 5 equals 2 times t. Remember the goal is to isolate t, so we divide both sides by uh, sine t. I mean by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. So uh, sine t isolated will be y minus 5 over 2, okay? So now same three for the x part. x equals 3 plus 2 plus sine t. We first of all subtract 3 from both sides. We have x minus 3 equals 2 plus sine t. And then we divide uh, both sides by 2. And then that yields... Uh, cosine t equals x minus 3 over 2. Okay, now that we have it, not a cosine explicitly solved for, we're going to plug it into the Pythagorean identity, sine squared t plus cosine squared t equals 1. That will help eliminate the parameter t. Okay, so uh, we're going to have for the y, for the sine, we're going to replace sine with y minus 5 over 2 squared. So the sine is being squared here. And then for the cosine, we're going to replace cosine with x minus 3 over 2. And we're going to square it also because cosine is being squared uh, in the identity equation. Okay? So that simplifies further. So we have a graphical uh, conic. This looks like a clear 
it looks like a tonic, so we're going to rewrite this as y minus 5 quantity square over 2 square plus x minus 3 quantity square over 2 square equals 1. All right. So uh, we, this becomes 1 minus 5 over 2. I know 1 minus 5 square over 4 plus x minus 3 square over 4 equals 1. Now, to eliminate the denominator, since you're the same, we can multiply both sides of the equation by 4. And then we'll have a conic that's very easy to graph. Okay, so multiply by 4. Upon distribution on the left side of the equation, we're going to have the equation uh, y minus 5 squared uh, plus x minus 3 squared equals 4. Okay, let me just rewrite it. x minus 3 square plus y minus 5 square equals 4. Okay, so what is this? This is the equation of a circle. A circle with a center. The center at uh, at three five, and the radius of uh, the square root of four, which is two. I, th I could have expressed this as two squared if I wanted. Uh, it doesn't make any difference. Okay, so I can write this as four or two square. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, sketch the graph of this uh, clinic that we just generated, centered at three five, um, and the the radius is two. All right, so. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then go up one, two, three, four, five. So there goes the center. So that's the center. We're going to go uh, two units in all directions. So let's go ahead and graph the circle with radius two. So, all right there. There you have it. Okay. So you have the radius of the circle. Uh, is basically two, okay? All right, so just remember that the equation of the circle is uh, x minus three square plus y minus five square equals four. This is the, the vertex form. If we want to write it in parametric form, we have this uh, hard equation up here, um, y, equals 5 plus 2 sine t and x equals 3 plus 2 cosine t. You can see that it's much easier to uh, graph the equation using this formulation as opposed to the parametric, parametric equation. Okay, so, so there you have it. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this clip. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for more updates such as this. Um, you can also share this with your friends via Facebook or Twitter. Questions, please come and follow my Thanks again and have a wonderful day.